to today's video, which is episode three of my best of 2020 series. So if you have not seen my other videos already, I filmed a best of high-end slash luxury makeup and then also a best of drugstore makeup. And I'll also be filming a best of Amazon, which will be coming later this week, which is super duper exciting. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Estine on my channel. We discuss all things makeup, skincare, hair care, body care, all those beauty related things and sometimes clothing. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe. It really means the world to a small YouTuber like myself. And for today's video, we are discussing the best of 2020 when it comes to skincare, hair care, and body care. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First up, we will start with skincare. And my first skincare item to talk about is the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil, which I have been obsessed with. This is not a new product. This has been on the market for a long time, but I just had never tried it until this year when I saw it at my local Costco. So I saw this and I had remember seeing rave reviews about it on YouTube and on Ulta and on all of those outlets. So I decided to pick it up and let me tell you, this is the best first cleanse I have ever used. I've been double cleansing for a very long time, but I've always used balm cleansers or cleansing balms rather. And it was really hard for me to find a good cleansing oil because I feel like with both balms and oils, the issues that I have and most people have is like that film getting in your eye. And sometimes both the balms and oils can be like very heavy and greasy and it's just not a nice cleansing experience experience, if you will, or sometimes they literally just are so greasy and heavy and then they don't even take off your makeup. So when I discovered this and when I tried this finally, I was like, wow, what was I waiting for? Like all of those rave reviews are totally correct. I absolutely love this. I love that this is just, it's thick, but it's not heavy. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. For a full coverage makeup look like I have today, I usually use maybe three or four pumps I go on with my dry face and I use this and I love this because it's thick. Like although it goes on thick, once you wash it off and like lather it into your skin, it really becomes more thin. I don't get that harsh film over my eye and this is just incredible. Moving on to my favorite sunscreen of 2020. This, I think this might be a little bit of a controversial product, but I still wanted to talk about it. So this is the Perito Centella Green Level Unscented Sunscreen and it has an SPF of 50. So if you have heard about this, this has kind of been going around in the skincare community and the TikTok skincare community. It says it's an SPF of 50, but apparently it's only an SPF of 19. I'm not really sure. I need to do more research on that. And I don't want to steer you all in the wrong direction at all, but I still wanted to mention this because I discovered this from Skincare by Hiram here on YouTube. And this has been like a go-to star product, breakthrough product of 2020 for me. So the reason I absolutely love this SPF is because it's really a SPF plus moisturizer. I have been kind of been going through like some skin changes. My skin was much more dry in the beginning of this year. Now it's much more combo. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and skin changes just happen. But anyways, I absolutely love this. Like I said, it's really like a moisturizer plus SPF. It has a Centella in there. My face I have a lot of acne scarring and I get kind of red because my face is very sensitive. So the Centella really, really helps with calming down my redness. It's super duper lightweight. It's a chemical sunscreen. So you're not going to get like that white cast that physical sunscreens tend to leave on the skin. And it's just really nice. It's oil free. It's just an overall great product. Like I said, I have to do more research about how much SPF is in here because me personally, I like to wear 30 and above. If it really only has SPF 19, um, yeah, I gotta check it out. But still, I did wanna mention this because it's been a breakthrough product for me in 2020. My next product is another SPF. So this is the Pacifica Mineral Bronzing Face Shade with an SPF of 30. So this is a really cool product. It's basically a tinted, bronzy tinted. Let me put it on the back of my hand so you can see. So I just put a tiny amount on the back of my hand. Let's see if the camera will focus. There we go. So it's basically a tinted mineral sunscreen and it just has a really cool effect on the skin. It almost has coverage and I think that this is a clear dupe 
to the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy if you've ever used that, but this is even better because this has the skincare benefits plus SPF. So this was like my summer product. I don't use this currently, but in the summer, I literally use this every day. I just did one layer all over my face. It just gave me like a bronze, beautiful glow and even down my skin tone. And I just loved it and it lasted all day. And I also really like this because when I do tan in the sun, which I really don't even do that, I never get my face in the sun. Like I'm always wearing a hat. I'm under the umbrella on the beach, so on and so forth. So my body will get tan, but my face and my neck never really get tan. So this will kind of help like even out that color because my body I'm rocking so my body does get pretty dark this is just absolutely beautiful you can also mix this in with your regular moisturizer and just give yourself that glow and, and get those added SPF benefits and yeah this is just an awesome product another breakthrough product for me that I feel like I've spoken on my channel about 101 times but I definitely wanted to mention again is the tower 28 daily rescue facial spray this is basically just water and salt. Not exactly sure what it does to the skin, but what I know is that it's helped me dramatically with my mask knee. So what I like to do is before I put on a mask is spritz this all over this area. And then I also like to spritz this on the mask. And then I also use this in like my normal skincare routine. I usually spritz this on after my toner or my essence, depending on like what I'm using. I kind of I can kind of switch out my skincare routine here and there, but this has been a staple in my routine and basically every day because I have to wear a mask as we most do. So I feel like this is just like a mask me hero product. I'm not talking about like hormonal cystic acne. I mean, that's the type of acne I have. This is not gonna prevent like those hormonal cysts if you get those, especially around that time of the month, if you are a female, but this will help with those like little bacterial type of breakouts that you may get from a mask. My final skincare product that I'm talking about is the Real. I want to mention, I don't know if it's Real or it's actually pronounced Real. The way I read it is Real, so I'm just going to say the Real Beauty Miracle Patch Invisible Spot Dot. These are hydrocolloid patches and they are just awesome. Let me take them out so I can show them to you. So this is how they come out in this little plastic and then you have the patches as so, and you can just tear the plastic down so you can like take the patch out really easily. And I have tried three or four different patches throughout this year, including the Mighty Patch, and these are by far my favorite. They are just the most sticky. You can wear them for six to eight hours, and then once you take them off, that gunk from the pimple is gone. So I like to use these on more whitehead type pimples where there is gunk, but I also like to use them on pimples that are more cystic or like under the skin. Those are pretty much the majority of pimples that I get. It really helps with like soothing the pimple, soothing the redness, and also just like reducing the size of the pimple. I also noticed that when I feel something like under the skin, like trying to creep up, I'll put these on and it'll help the pimple sort of push up to the skin faster. If you have had hormonal breakouts or breakouts that are underneath the skin, you know that it could be like a few days sitting under there where it's like painful before it actually gets to the top skin layer. So I feel like this has just helped me so much with different types of acne, different types of pimples rather, and these are just a star product. Let's move on to some hair products. The first two items I have are both from Olaplex and neither of them, shockingly, are the number three. The number three is near and dear to my heart. I absolutely love it, but these specifically I discovered or tried for the first time in 2020 and they have blown me away. So let's start with number five, the conditioner. Wow, this conditioner makes my hair so soft, so silky, and I feel like there's a lot of shampoos and there's a lot of conditioners that I try out and I'm like, I don't know, is this making a difference? Is this doing what it says it does? Is it making my hair softer? So on and so forth. But the second I tried this, like the day I tried this and I air dried my hair, I was like, wow. This has made a huge difference in my hair. It just makes my hair, like I said, so soft and it makes it stronger. As you can see, I clearly color my hair. I bleach my hair. Obviously my roots are my natural color. So I bleach it from this color to this color, which is 
quite the drastic uh, color change. So this has helped dramatically with that, just softening my hair. I noticed that I don't have as many split ends. My hair is not nearly as damaged. So I absolutely love that. And then moving on, I also have number six, which I love. So this is basically just like a leave-in conditioner. And I love this also. Like I said, it's pretty much the same outcome as the number five. It just makes my hair super soft, super silky. I always put this in after a shower, whether I'm air drying my hair, whether I'm heat styling it with a blow dryer, whatever it is, I just love how soft it makes my hair. And it's just nice and nourishing. And because I do bleach my hair, my hair tends to be drier and my hair type is dry to begin with so this just helps hydrate my hair and I also use this when I'm dry styling my hair like before I straighten my hair or if I curl my hair I'll put this in also just because sometimes like I said from the bleach and from the heat styling it can look very like dry on the ends and also another huge plus is that this smells incredible every single time I use this my husband's like what perfume are you wearing and I'm like no it's literally my leave-in conditioner hair treatment it's just amazing so I did mention the number five, but if you notice, I didn't mention number four, which is their shampoo, because with my hair type, my scalp is very dry. So I need a shampoo that's really gonna target my scalp and my scalp issues. So the shampoo that I've been loving this year is from Pacifica. It's called the Pacifica Rosemary Purify Invigorating Shampoo, stimulating with rosemary and mint, and it's sulfate free. I absolutely love this shampoo. I will mention that Pacifica did send this to me in PR, with their entire like scalp line and this shampoo is a game changer what i like about this is that i feel like the current scalp shampoo offerings on the market that help with those dryness and that flakiness tend to be scrubs like the brio geo scrub and this is not like that this is like a normal liquid shampoo and what i love is that it has like that mint in there so it gently exfoliates your scalp and you can feel almost like that little bit of tingling on the scalp i happen to like that feeling it's not like a really intense tingling it's a really tiny amount of tingling and i just noticed that this just helps like it says purify my scalp like remove all that dirt and all that like built up skin on the scalp if you will because like i said i have a very dry scalp i don't have it's weird because i don't really have dandruff i just have a dry scalp so if you have dandruff i don't know if this would necessarily help with that but if your scalp is just dry, especially as we're moving into the winter months and you need some more scalp care in your life, definitely check out this shampoo and their entire scalp line. All right, now let's move into body care. And I will have to admit, this has been the year of soap and glory for me. So basically I say that because soap and glory has been around forever, but I have never tried their products. I always saw them in my local Walgreens, Target, Walmart but I don't know why I had never tried their products until this year and they have just blown my mind because their products are incredible and so affordable. So let me show you my favorites from the brand. Also, I feel like the way I just said that, I don't know why. I feel like I sounded sponsored, but I'm not sponsored. None of my videos are sponsored. I'm a very small YouTuber. I don't get sponsorship. So this is truly like my honest thoughts. Just wanted to mention that. So let's start with a product that started it all for me. This is the Soap and Glory Clean and Colada Hydrating Body Wash. And let me tell you, every time I pick this up, I have to smell it because the smell is just divine. I discovered this through Casey Holmes. I think she spoke about this in an empties or like a favorites video. And she had said that she had been using this for like years. And when I tell you, I got my first bottle of this, I ordered it from Ulta and I am hooked. At this point, I have probably gone through five, like five to seven bottles of this. And first of all, the smell is absolutely incredible. It actually doesn't smell that coconutty. It just smells kind of fruity and fresh. And what I like about it is that it's nice and thin. It gets, you know, all the dirt you need off your body off. But I also like that the smell does linger. It's not going to linger like the next morning. I usually shower at night. So it'll linger like throughout the night. The next morning I'll wake up, it doesn't really linger, but it doesn't just disappear. So I absolutely love that. And it's so affordable. I think these bottles are like 10 or 11 bucks each, but Target always has Soap and Glory, like 20 to 30% off the entire brand. And Ulta always has this buy one, get one 50 or other promotions on it. So I always stock up whenever I see a promotion. I don't really have much else to say. It's just amazing. It smells amazing. It gets the job done. And for the price, you can't go wrong. And because I love this so much, I decided this summer to try their drop in the lotion. So these are both from like the Clina Colada line. I had thought that the body lotion was gonna smell just 
dress like this, which I was like super duper excited about. So when I got it and it didn't smell exactly the same, I won't lie, I was a little disappointed, but then I kind of got used to the smell. And when I tell you, this smells incredible. So this does smell like coconut. It smells like coconut mixed with vanilla, mixed with freshness. Like you just smell fresh. And when I say vanilla, I feel like it's hard because I feel like when I hear vanilla, my brain goes like very synthetic because there's a lot of body products that have vanilla in it and it can smell very synthetic. So this is like a very coconutty vanilla fresh. It's not like straight vanilla, if that makes sense. So I do want to say that. And, and every single time I wore this, I would get insane compliments. What are you wearing? What perfume are you wearing? Oh my God, you smell so good. You smell so sweet. Literally every single time. And also what I love about this really, besides the smell, is obviously the formula. It's nice and thin. It absorbs into the skin. You don't feel like a film left on. It's just like a nice lotion. And this lotion has literally replaced my Jo Malone body lotions that I also have. Like I literally almost done with this. And this is my second bottle and I'm just obsessed. My last product from Soap and Glory, which I'm equally as obsessed with, it's actually completely finished, is their Smoothie Star Oat Sugar and Shea Breakfast Scrub. Okay, again with the scent, I feel like I'm like hammering down the scent. Yes, everything smells so good, but seriously, oh my God. 10 out of 10, the scent is amazing. I feel like when I say what it smells like, people are gonna be like, what the hell? But I personally love it. So this literally smells like maple syrup. Um, it's very sweet, it smells like a winter morning breakfast pancakes. That's what it smells like, like sweet caramel maple syrup. Mm. I love scents like that. I mean, I wouldn't wear like a perfume like that, but as far as like a body scrub or a body lotion, I love scents like that. They just make me feel like warm and good inside. But anyways, besides the incredible scent, the scrub is amazing. I wish I could show it to you, but I'm literally finished. I need to run to Target and buy another one immediately, but it's just an awesome scrub. It does the job. It gets all the dead skin off. It exfoliates. It's nice and gentle. It's not too abrasive or anything like that. And I always use this before I shave or just when I want to smell the glory of this. And even if you don't like this specific scent, they have like the same scrub formula in all different scents that you should check out. And yeah, Soap and Glory just killed the game for me in 2020. And I don't know how I didn't discover them before. Last but not least, I did want to talk about a fragrance. And this is a very pricey one. This is the Le Labo Another 13 fragrance. Le Labo is like a bougie, high-end perfumery based out of New York. Now they have stores all over, but there are OGs to New York, and this is their Another 13 scent. You've probably heard of this brand because their Santal 33 is like a cult favorite scent. Obviously different scents work differently on different bodies and body chemistries, and that scent like just does not work for me. But it's such a holy grail cult product that when they opened up in my local Bloomingdale's, I was like, you know what? Let me go and try the scents and smell all different scents because I had already known that Santal like didn't work for me. And I told the person there that I like more musky, warm, almost scents that could be like gender neutral. I don't like scents that are like totally like colognes, but I don't like sweet scents that are like pink sugar, if that makes sense. Another 13 basically hit every single bullet on my list. It's just such an interesting scent. And I feel like I'm not the best at like describing scents, so I'll try to add the notes down below in writing, but this is absolutely incredible. And besides the scent, the longevity of this perfume is insane. So the Lava perfumes, I guess, are made with more oils than they are with alcohol, and the scent lasts for days. I remember the first time I got this, I put like two or three, maybe four sprays, and I was like, holy crap. That was way too much. With these scents, it's like one and done, and it'll literally last on you for days, which is awesome. So although it is very pricey, this is a smaller bottle. It's 1.7 fluid ounces, and I believe this was around $200 after tax. Although it is pricey, you literally only need like one or two spritzes. So I can imagine that this will last me a very long time, so I do think it is worth it. All right, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed this, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. It really helps a small creator like me in the YouTube community. And please let me know down below in the comments what skincare, hair care, body care, whatever care you've been loving in the year of 2020. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.